Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Denise Salcedo here. Today I am in Hollywood for the premiere of Netflix's new TV horror, The Haunting of Hill House. So first of all, I want to tell you, you look absolutely gorgeous. I love your style. It's so sleek, so chic. I like that. Thank you. Where did you have any sort of inspiration for tonight's look? Well, um, I find that I look a lot like Claire Foy. And so she does kind of like a slick back look. And also um, Rachel Brosnahan, who's in Marvelous Miss Maisel, I adore her. And I tried to do like a slick back look. And I'm not really one for dresses, so I <laughs> thought I'd go with a suit. And I feel very nice. So I love it. Be yourself. Be what makes you like yeah. feel amazing and great. Well, you're rocking it. So let's get into it. I'm sure you're extremely excited. Netflix, you, to be a part of the Netflix family now, tell me what that means to you and to the cast. Okay, so I love Netflix so much. I spend all night, which probably isn't great, watching Netflix. Netflix, but I'm a huge fan, and um, it's great to just say, like, Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, so everyone can watch it, because who doesn't have Netflix? I mean, you should have Netflix if you don't, but, um, yeah, I feel like it's great. So now, obviously, season one, I feel that this show is something that Netflix doesn't have anywhere else on there, especially being, you know, sort of this original new show that no one really knows about yet, other than if, unless they've read the book, so I want to know for you, tell me a little bit about your character and your experiences on set. Okay, so young Shirley, she is um, a young girl with many layers. She um, is the oldest girl of the Crane family, and in, in my opinion, she's very motherly. She wants to take care of her family and her siblings and her parents above all else. And I think that because of her early experience with death, um, she wants to keep everything the same. She wants everything to stay the same forever. And so that's why I think she becomes a mortician when she's older. So obviously it's a very dark role. How did you prepare for this? I mean, you're so young. How did you kind of sort of pull those layers out for yourself to showcase them on the show? Yeah, it was really difficult at first because I'm not like in actual life a very emotional person, which is strange to say, but I'm really not. And so trying to get in touch with that was it was kind of scary for me because also I'm younger, so I don't have as many experiences as my mom would or my dad would or um, like even my sisters would. So it was, it was really difficult, and I definitely wasn't expecting it, going into it, how um, difficult it would be. But I feel like after this experience, I really I am able to get in touch with my emotions way easier, which is great. Did you read the book? I didn't read the book, but I need to. I want you tonight. But don't you think in a sort of way it kind of helped you because you sort of made your character your own? Yes. Oh, it was great. And um, with Mike, I remember we, all the kids... Uh, sat down in a room and we all just he was like okay name one thing that you want your character to be and everyone's naming things and I just I got this feeling I was just like this is great I get to make Shirley who I want her to be which which makes me feel amazing because when I'm older I do want to be a writer so having having the um, feeling of control and who I want my character to be and putting um, my own thoughts into my character was great. That's amazing. I love that you're already thinking one step ahead and wanting to add to that layer of not just being an actress, but adding the writing layer as well. That's incredible. Last question. Uh, at the top of this, we mentioned that you love Netflix. I want to know, what are some of your favorite shows? Okay, so um, I love Stranger Things. I love it. I love Big Mouth, which is that cartoon. Oh, my God. It's so funny. I talk about it with my friends all the time. It's so hilarious. And, oh, what else? Oh, I love that movie, Oakjaw. I saw it twice. It made me cry. Um... <laughs> But yeah, those are my three favorites, and I just love Netflix so much. <laughs> okay, with you. I agree with that. And I can't wait. This is going to be the show that I start binge watching. I, I, I don't know. Should I watch it at night, though, or should I wait till the daytime? No, probably like day, daytime, like morning, so you can binge the whole thing into the day, you know? Not have nightmares? No, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, Lulu. Have a great day. Congratulations. Nice meeting you.